And lastly, a new Mayo Clinic study suggests the Moderna vaccine is performing far better than Pfizer when it comes to breakthrough infections. Ben Jordan goes in depth on what this could mean for booster shots in the future. Mayo Clinic in Minnesota spent the past six months following tens of thousands of vaccinated people. While they found one vaccine outperformed another at preventing infections, researchers say all vaccines show strong results at minimizing hospitalizations. Results from Mayo's study show Moderna's vaccine was 76% effective at preventing infections last month, a 10% decrease compared to earlier in the year before the Delta variant spread. Hunter Skluzicek received Moderna shots several months ago. I think it's reassuring to know that. But the retrospective study of the Pfizer vaccine shows its effectiveness in preventing cases fell to 42% in July. Disappointing results for Jesse Perez, who sought out Pfizer shots. It's just frustrating knowing that, you know, you go through all the time to schedule that, to go through and get that, and then... You know, now it's not as effective against the Delta variant. Before the virus mutated, clinical trials found Pfizer and Moderna's effectiveness to be nearly identical at about 95%. Dr. Hashim Zabak offers both vaccines at Hyatt Pharmacy. What was your reaction when you read this report? I was a little bit surprised. Uh, Pfizer has been a lot more uh, popular in our area. Nearly 3.3 million doses of Pfizer have been administered so far in Wisconsin, about 800,000 more than Moderna. That's in part because Pfizer is the only vaccine currently approved for kids 12 to 17. Dr. Zabach says he's already seen people come in this week referencing the Mayo Clinic study and requesting Moderna. I think that there's going to be a lot more people who are not vaccinated yet who are going to come to us and say, I do want the Moderna versus the, the Pfizer. Dr. William Hartman is UW Health's lead investigator for COVID vaccine trials. He says both Moderna and Pfizer use the same technology called mRNA, but there is one difference. The size of the Moderna vaccine uh, suggests that perhaps there's more mRNA uh, within the uh, uh, lipid coating, and so it may deliver uh, quote unquote, higher dose of, uh, of, of vaccine to, or of mRNA to produce uh, the spike protein. Dr. Hartman stresses both vaccines remain very effective in preventing hospitalizations. It's predominantly uh, unvaccinated people that are ending up with serious illness and hospitalization and unfortunately still dying from COVID-19. He encourages more study participants as the CDC weighs the need for everyone who's already vaccinated to get a booster shot. Especially in this day of the Delta variant, uh, to, to really uh, have us take a, a look at it and see, do we need uh, boosters, number one? Uh, and if we do need boosters, do we need to do it with the Moderna vaccine? Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.